You'll all recall the scene in the prime of Miss Jean Brodie where she led her girls through the grass market to show them an Edinburgh they'd never seen. I shall refresh your memory. They approached the old town, which none of the girls had properly seen before, because none of their parents were so historically minded as to be moved to conduct their young into the reeking network of slums. It was Sandy's first experience of a foreign country, which intimates itself by its new smells and shapes and its new poor. A man sat on the icy cold pavement. He just sat. A crowd of children, some without shoes, shouted after Miss Brodie's violet-clad company with words that the girls had not heard before but rightly understood to be obscene. The smell was amazingly terrible. But behold the grass market now. In the hundred years since I was born, a complete transformation. Boutique shopping, restaurants and bars, tourist hotels and beautifully laid flagstones. And how did this change happen? Not through murder and mayhem, but by a gradual process of persuasion and change and the understanding that this is better. Susan's heart was in the right place, but Susan's methods were lacking in imagination. I see things more clearly. Follow me and I will show you how true resurrection happens. Tonight, I am the resurrection and the life. In a purely literary sense, of course. <laughs> 